we have our multi-domain controller. Hey, Snapdragon. Ask my car to open my windows. So we have um, our multi-domain controller here, which is a hypervisor solution. It's two operating systems on one, one chip. Hey, Snapdragon. Ask my car to close my windows. Okay, so so in addition to, to, to two operating systems, we have uh, six cameras. So as you can see, we have no side view mirrors, yeah. right? We put them here, right? Okay. So we have two cameras facing to the rear, and then uh, we added, uh, we have cameras on, on all four sides of the car to give us a surround view. As you can see, with all that going on, we still have very, very smooth performance. All right, we also have uh, navigation, so we have here maps. Um, we've integrated with iHeartRadio just to, to show off uh, music. Um, what I can also do, because I'm a passenger, I may choose to want to watch a movie. So I can watch a movie here. Um, I can also send movies to to the rear displays. Oh, oh yeah. uh, I got to reset that one. So we can see one there. <laughs> so that's the, the one chip can support this uh, different screen. Well, well no, act to, actually, so, so this is one chip. Right. This is one chip, oh. and these are these are separate. Oh, processor. But there's okay. a lot of rendering that happens mm -hmm. when you stitch together yeah. four cameras. Yeah. So, and all of that, as you can see, is uh, very real time. Right. So, that's a tremendous amount of uh, strain onto the SOC processor, mm -hmm. uh, and clearly Snapdragon. Uh, has sufficient uh, horsepower to be able to deliver that not only on the processing but also on the graphics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's say I'm bored with my movies and I want to download another one. Um, with our with our uh, 5G telematics card, which is up there in the roof on the right. So this is running 5G NR release 15 in millimeter wave. It's not based on any prototype. It's based on the uh, previously announced snap uh, the uh, uh, SDX 50 which is a pre-commercial chip and is what has been announced to be going into production into uh, handsets uh, in the beginning of 2019 and so that's what's currently in this uh, prototype uh, or in this concept car that we have um, go ahead and show the demo okay so so this this with uh, combined with our 5G call box which is mounted which is just right outside allows us to achieve a throughput of up to 4 gigabits per second. So I'm going to download this file here which is 15 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take less than 30 seconds. So you can see uh, it's going to take just under 30 seconds to download 15 gigabytes of data using 5G. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Now, why don't we go ahead and slow it down and put it into LTE? So with LTE mode, it's right still there, pretty fast. it's still pretty fast, but but it's you it's know it's four X. Yeah, right. So I mean, we're already we're, we're at fifteen seconds. Where if I go back to here, two seconds. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So in a moment, uh, you see that light outside? The traffic signal. Right. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to turn red. Mm -hmm. So we've been in communication with that traffic signal the entire time, and we're receiving information about it. So once it turns red, I'm going to get a notification of the next time it's going to turn green. So now, I'm, um, and this is using our, our CV to X reference module, which is, which is mounted on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. So what you see now is the signal phase and timing mm -hmm. from that traffic signal coming into the car over the 5.9 gigahertz uh, spectrum that's been allocated for ITS. Okay. That information is coming over the cellular Vito X. There's a roadside unit connected to the traffic signal. And then up here in the in the roof is the cellular Vito X hardware 
including the 9150 chipset, which uh, Qualcomm announced, uh, which will be commercially available later this year. Mm -hmm. So this is then delivered into the infotainment system with different notifications. Okay, so... Uh, All right, so one of the other features we have here is our... Um, uh, echo cancellation. So you saw I can control the car with my with, with voice commands. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play the radio and I'm going to play it kind of loud. And then I'm going to ask a question. Uh, I'm going to ask what's the weather like in Barcelona. And I'm not going to have to raise my voice. I'm just I'm just going to talk normally while the radio is playing. Mm -hmm. So we'll start some music. Okay, I'm going to raise the volume. Deanna, fill us in. Well, let's talk about Heather Locklear. She was arrested last night for felony domestic violence and battery okay. on a cop. Okay, so. Hey, snap your hand. What's the weather like in Barcelona? Right now in Barcelona, Spain. So you can hear, I, I had the volume raised kind of loud. Oh, how loud. Huh? Echo cancellation. So it's aware of all the all the audio that's going on around the car, mm -hmm. and um, it's able to to cancel that out and just focus on my voice because I'm the one who gave the keyword. So it's listening. If you notice, we have mics everywhere. Right. So it's always listening. It's a smart. It's a smart connected car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this feature, this the the the.